a new scary movie is on the way? What is up, y'all? We are back with another video. We're going to be talking about the new news we just got about a scary movie reboot or scary movie six in the works. This is crazy because we've talked about this on previous streams and what they can do with the scary movies we have now and the horror movies and all of that and just all the new characters we have and the storylines. We got to talk about this before we get started. Definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. But let's get into it. So this actually was revealed at CinemaCon, from my understanding, Paramount revealed it. And then Variety actually, you know, kind of brought the story to our attention, saying that we're going to be getting a new scary movie reboot. And it's aiming for the fall of 2025 and everything. No, the wins are not confirmed to be brought back yet or Anna Ferris or Regina Hall. So we also know Anna Ferris, no Regina Hall, but we know you know in the past that they actually said that basically they still had some interest in coming back to the scary movie you know franchise so that's very good news but let's get into what we see over on bloody disgusting saying that paramount is resurrecting the scary movie franchise with a brand new reboot movie which will likely arrive in theaters in 2025 paramount announced that it's partnering with fast and furious mega producer neil h mortis to resurrect the doormat franchise, Scary Movie is going into production in the fall of 2024 and should hit theaters in 2025. Scary Movie is also being made as a part of the Paramount's first look partnership with Miramax. The studio behind the film franchise, Miramax, will fully finance the production with Paramount handling distribution variety. Further details, today's report directed by Kanan Waynes. The first Scary Movie was released in 2000, just four years after Wes Craven's slasher movie Scream. The film parried horror movies of the first, including Scream, I Know What You Did, did Last Summer, The Blair Witch Project, and it had made $278 million at the worldwide box office. To, to get into everything with Scary Movie, I really, you know, love the Scary Movie franchise and... You know, some things happened with the Wham Bros. You know, this is was this was their baby and everything. You know, all the scary movies, and now we're not getting any confirmation that they're returning. So that's going to be a red flag right there, just because they are the ones who kind of you know created scary movie really and gave it that feel and that flavor. You know, Shorty and Ray, uh, those characters. I don't know, you know, if they'll come back. That's another thing. Those are the characters that I know. Cindy, you know, Shorty and Ray. I, I think. With scary movie with the horror we have now, it could definitely be a hit, but it can also be a miss. Because when I was younger, man, you know, I actually got to see a couple scary movies in theaters and stuff like that. And it was brutal dialogue in those movies. It was brutal dialogue. It was brutal topics touched on. It, some of the things, you know, that was said in a scary movie, I don't know if today's audience would take that. I don't think they'll like that. I think a lot of people in today's audience, they are not as tough and built for a scary movie film how we was back when they came out i think now people will take a lot of those scenes and put them out on the internet and say wow there's it's hidden messages and stuff like that and you know how to go with social media and things like that um i think you know scary movie it was done with for era that era right there you know with the spoofs that's what they call it or the parodies it was like an era going on with them just kind of reinventing things and bringing comedy to it i don't know how people react to one now me personally i would love to see a scary movie right now just off of us having a halloween trilogy scream being you know scream was like the face of scary movie at a point when they first kicked up you know Ghostface. um you know, we got Megan and things like that now. The Conjuring. It can just go crazy. So I think that they can definitely do great things with this, but it can also be a miss because, like I said, just off the audience we have now, people probably are scared to even put that type of content in a movie now just off the fact they don't want to get, you know, canceled or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think, to be honest, it's going to be kind of riskier than making a scary movie in today's generation and things like that and have it still fun like the ones we had back with Shorty and Ray. Those were movies I feel like 
that you just had to understand a scary movie movie. You had to understand it wasn't for everybody. It still isn't for everybody. It's only certain people I feel can watch it because it's certain words that's being, you know, blurted out and, you know, stated in these scenes. And some people probably, it probably rubs in the wrong way or something like that. But overall, for me, I love scary movies. Like, they're always fun. I like how they take, you know, serious things and bring comedy to it. You can go chill and watch it in the theater. And I think this is a perfect, this is a perfect time for Scary Movie to return just off the fact all these horror movies we've got over the past years. I would love to see them reinvent a lot of these scenes, you know, from the ones I've, I've enjoyed lately. Like, you know, like Halloween, Trilogy, Megan. You know, like I just said, I think they can have so much fun with that and just incorporate entertainment. But I don't... I don't know how that would be not having, you know, like Marlon Wayans in there, Sean Wayans. Like, they were the stars. They were the life of the party, man. You know, Anna Ferris. I think Regina Hall. I don't know how that could work because they were just genuinely funny. The Wayans have always been genuinely funny. I grew up watching her TV show on BET and stuff like that. And like I said, I just think... If they're going to do a scary movie, they're going to have to do it right. They're, they're going to have to go back and get that old formula from when we, we were watching it, you know, and stuff like that. I think they're going to have to do that to make this movie great in a, in a good time in the theaters. If they try to do something different, even if they change the littlest things, it is definitely going to just not feel like a scary movie film to me. Or the people that's watching it, especially people that enjoy scary movie. I feel like scary movie... For me, it was movies that I got to go see with, like, you know, family, you know, after, like, we're having fun one day and just going to the theater and crack up and just see that, man. I remember watching Scary Movie and seeing that actress's scene. You guys know the scene I'm talking about. Imagine if we got that scene right now in today's. Man, the movie will be canceled, bro. It will be canceled. Me, personally, look, I'm an African-American man, bro. I've heard a lot of stuff in the world, and I come from a crazy place of the world you know a crazy a crazy spot of the world so scary movie is not saying things that i already haven't heard in my life that's the type of thing person i am so i've heard it i've seen things and all type of stuff so scary movie for me is just a, a horror comedy that's a fun time you can go watch and rock out but some people might think not not think that you know they might think it's too brutal it's too hard on the dialogue it, it's too visual and stuff like that overall man like i said i hope they just really take that risk because if you don't take that risk, you know, with this scary movie, it's going to be a bust. You have to take that risk to bring that old feel back. This can definitely change things, I feel. If if they really take that risk, you know, Paramount and everything there and everyone involved, if they take that risk and give us a real deal scary movie, whew, I cannot wait. And bring some of the OG cast back. But like I said, I don't know how I feel if they don't bring the Wayne bros back. They have to bring them back. This is their baby. Maybe they can get something situated out with them. Regina Hall and Anna Ferris in the past, once again, they touched on them wanting to return. You know, I would love to see them back. It's not a scary movie without them two. And, you know, they always have cameos of celebrities and stuff. So it can definitely be a fun movie if they jump over that wall. And go back in history and keep that same formula. But for some reason in my heart, I do feel that they're going to be scared a little bit just off the community and just, you know, the generation, social media. I just feel like they're afraid of going down a road where they can get in a tight situation. But comment down below, man, how you guys feel about Scary Movie returning to the big screen i'm so excited and uh comment down below how do you feel about the wans and everything do you think it's a scary movie without the wans would you watch it personally me i don't know i don't think i would but uh yeah man i'm gonna be covering this as we get closer to more details and stuff but unfortunately it's the end of the video i want y'all to hit me on my social media i like scary on instagram i like scary underscore on tiktok brand on facebook i like scary on twitter and yeah you are right there where it says subscribe next to a click join and become a member of the channel i want you all to watch some horror movies stay scary out there Peace. Until next time.